Hello, so I saw an interesting video. Um, whenever you visit my server um, to download filters, it will log um, each connection. And every now and then I go through the log and I find some interesting videos. Um, I found a particularly interesting video from a guy named uh, XVS Studios, a pretty small channel. Um, it, he featured an interesting idea where a chest would refill. It used a series of hoppers and um, and uh, dispensers and other things. And I thought it was an interesting idea. Um, I thought I'd just throw up a real quick video showing my little version of it. Um, it, it just uses a single falling sand entity spawner. Um, this isn't this isn't anything real. Uh, this isn't a real breakthrough or amazing thing. I just thought it was really interesting, so I thought I'd throw up a video. Anyways, uh, this is the same thing. It's just before running the filter, um, filter in question is Treslander spawner filter. You can see right, um, this one right here is the destination sign. Here's the source sign. Basically, C is the ID, and DT is the time. So this is just a falling sand spawner, and here's the chest down here. It has all of these, uh, all the swords, which make you go really, really fast. So um, the way this works is there's a comparator right here um, that that is detecting the contents of this chest. As soon as you empty the chest, it uh, turns this repeater off, turns this torch on, which triggers the monostable circuit to destroy the sp um, destroy the chest. So to demonstrate, just a second. And you can see I probably should use a different item that doesn't interfere with the field of view. You can see it's a completely um, refilled chest because it replaces the tile entity. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. You could do it with other tile entities as well like dispensers, um, brewing stands. Just keep in mind if you execute this while there's a chest here it'll spill the contents all over the floor like for instance and it makes a big mess but the, the reason why I am um, showing this way is because you can have multiple items inside of it you can re rearrange the, uh, the way it looks um, basically just to do this um, you just basically need the sign pair the destination the source sign the source needs to be zero, and you have, need to have your chest, and then obviously your detector, your Peter, your inverter, and then your monostable circuit. Um, if you run this filter, it will come out looking like this. And if you execute, if you trigger this manually, the, it won't create the spawn or the uh, tile entity because it need, since it's a time zero there needs to be an existing um, chest there. You can see it appears briefly. So all you really need to do is plop a chest down. And then it will work and it will shut itself off after you uh, after you run it once because it replaces the tile entity. Anyway, pretty simple little thing. Um, thought I thought it was interesting enough to throw together a little video and show you. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.